Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. In this video, we are going to show how to upload an image in folder and show that image in grid view. So let's start with our tutorial. In grid view examples, we have grid view example 19. On this ASPX page, we have taken a file upload control and named it as file image upload. Here we have a grid view, grid view photos. Below this file image upload we have a button btn upload photo. The text is upload. Inside the grid view we have added a property auto generate columns equal to false. This will make sure that only those columns which are mentioned in the column section are there in the grid view and no other extra columns are added. Inside this column section we have taken two fields one is bound field bound field the data field is text and the image field image field the Im data image URL field is we have set as the value because we are binding it to a list and list is having two values one is text and other one is valued the text will be binded to the data field and the value will be binded to the data image URL field. The header text we have named it as file name and the header text for the image field we have named it as photo. So let's see how we have binded the photo. First let's see how we are uploading the image to the folder. <coughs> Here first we are checking whether the file image upload has file. If it, ha it is having a file we are getting the file name file name we are getting from the file image upload dot posted file file dot file name and that file name we are using while saving the file to save the file we are what we are doing is file image upload dot posted file dot save as and then server dot map path and then inside the server dot map path we are passing the path where we are supposed to save the file along with the file name then we are doing a just a response dot redirect to the same URL from to the same URL of the page just because just we not need to refresh the page and this will upload the file now let's see how we are getting the files we are getting the file paths directory dot get file get files server dot map path we are getting all the files which are present in the images folder then we are getting we are creating a list of files of type list item for each file path <coughs> sorry for each file path we are getting the file path and we are storing it inside the list item files that list item which is getting all the files we are binding it to a data source grid view and finally using the data bind method we are showing that met all the files inside so here we have the images folder and we have the grid example so let's run this project As you can see the images folder is already having four images all those four images are shown in the grid view with the file name and the photo let's upload one more click on the upload file name is penguins now as we have done response or redirect it's going inside the post bag it's getting all the file paths from the images folder now this loop for each loop will iterate five times because there are five five files in the file path if you see the file it's it has got all this and it has got two values one is the text which is the 
file name and the value which is the file path so as we have earlier mentioned in the grid view the text and the file path the value will have the file path the text will have the file name so if we do f5 the newly added file is visible in the grid view at the last let's add one more file this time we are not we are not disable all the breakpoints and upload so as you can see the latest image is added in the bottom of the grid so this tutorial was quite simple here we learned how to add image to the images folder and show it to a grid view for more videos you can watch or subscribe our channel youtube.com slash 20 fingers 2 brains also you can visit our blog 20 fingers 2 brains dot blogspot dot com thank you for watching this video